The things you're going to need to do this project are <coughs> pins, a zipper that is longer than the pocket that you're going to make. You need the two pieces for the pocket, and I've already ironed on the interfacing, so you need to do that step too. I didn't think I needed to show that step. And the inside lining of the purse that you're going to put the pocket on. Right, the first thing you're going to do is line it up and be sure to allow for your seam allowance or your fold when you're making the top of the purse. And you don't want it to go too far down either. Place a couple of pins in to keep it in place really well. And the next thing we're going to do is you probably want to measure the width of your zipper. Mine is an inch wide. I'm going to do about a, I guess a half inch opening. This is going to be the top part, but I'm turning it around so I can get a good look at it myself. Probably about an inch and a quarter from the top is where you want the top of this line here. And you're going to draw the opening for your zipper pocket. Keeping in mind that you've got seam allowance here too, so you don't want to go too far over. And I just kind of eyeball this part because I'm so bad at measuring stuff like that. It's not that important. You're going to make little arrow lines here, and this is going to help you when you're cutting this opening. Alright. Now you can see where I've I've drawn that, and it's kind of crudely drawn, but it doesn't matter because it's not going to show up. And I'm using muslin, and I'm going to use black thread for the purpose of showing this video. I'm just doing this to show you how to put the zipper in. Okay, so we're going to take this over to the machine and sew around these outer edges, all four of these lines. And see where I've sewn all the way around this. I'm going to take a little seam ripper. This one's in really bad shape, but anyway, seam ripper, and you're going to open up this line right here. sure it goes all the way through and then you can take your scissors being careful not to clip the your thread your seam for the fun part now you're going to take this and turn it to the inside. Try 
try to get this to lay as flat as possible. Yeah. Take our iron and iron it down nice and pretty. Now we're going to take our zipper I'm going to open it up a little bit because I want to So I actually want to sew over some of this. Ow. Okay. Turn it over and make sure you got everything in the right place. See that I've sewn all around the edges of this. You want to allow for a zipper that's a little longer than the um, the piece you're sewing because you're actually going to want to cut these pieces off and remember to back stitch a few times on the ends to keep that zipper together. I'm going to take and cut the ends of this zipper off. next step is to add the other piece to the little pocket here. You can line them up right sides facing each other. I told you I kind of cut this in a hurry. Um, making a pattern for this is real simple. The way I like to do it is on my um, paint program and my computer. That way I know I'm making a good square or good even on, you know, it's not going to be lopsided or anything like that. It's just the way I cut it. It looks a little lopsided. Alright, so we'll take this and fold this piece down so we're not sewing on it. We're going to start, start up at the top with this one. So there you have it. That's the finished inside zipper pocket. You just cut the strings. If it makes you feel better, you can trim off some of this excess um, seam allowance. But you don't really have to. It's not going to show up. And I do recommend putting the interfacing on it because it keeps it nice and um, it keeps it firm. It keeps it from, you know, getting any punctures. If you put a pen or a pencil or something like that in there, 
and it also keeps it from possibly being able to see the pocket through the, the handbag. So, let's see it. Let's see there, a nice little pocket to put makeup or whatever you're going to put in there. So, I may finish this into a little purse since I've already used my fabric. But if you have any other questions or comments, just you know what to do.